hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to bake for mother's day and i have my lovely mother with me today hi everyone so today we're going to bake black forest cake and we're going to show you that you can actually make a beautiful black forest cake from home so i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment hit the notification bell so that you know every time i post a video so because we doubled the ingredients, we're going to have a quarter a cup of um, cocoa powder but times two. And then we're going to have three out of four teaspoons of baking powder times two as well. And then we're going to have um, two pinches of baking soda. And then we have an eighth a teaspoon of salt times two. 150 grams of caster sugar for the wet ingredients you have uh, four eggs so, so you have to separate the four eggs into two the the yolk yeah you can show them the, the, that is the yolk which is separated and then the egg white which is separated then 12 tablespoonful of oil and then two teaspoonful of vanilla extract so our first step is to line we are going, we are using this 20 centimeter baking pan um with the baking paper sheet what you first do is spread a bit of butter melted butter and then you line the pan So our first step is to preheat the oven to um, 180 degrees Celsius. So we're going to start with um, beating egg whites until they are stiff. So this is what we mean by being stiff. Like it should be stiff, yes, like that. The second thing is you add powdered sugar gradually into the the whatever egg. What is it called? <laughs> the bit. <laughs> the bitten. <laughs> the bitten. The stiff okay, egg whites. So we said gradually. So you add a little at a time. Sugar, it's supposed to look like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the vanilla extract to the egg yolks. So we add this. Then after you add this to the rest of the butter. Add in the oil to the butter. Butter is now mixed. Yes. So the next step is to put in the dry ingredient. Yeah. For the dry ingredient, add in the flour. You add in the cocoa. Okay. Add the baking soda in. Add in the baking powder and then the salt. 
stir it until well mixed. So we are going to add our dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing we is fold. you fold it in to the butter slightly carefully easy. until it's all mixed. So you pour the butter into the mixing pan. Into the baking pan. Eh, baking pan. So after that, we are going to tap this lightly. You tap it to remove the air bubbles that are inside. So. Um, so next, we are going to prepare the syrup, which is... Uh, a third a cup because we've doubled our ingredients so a third a cup times two of water, water. and then a third of a cup of powdered sugar yes just one the medium heat for the water then add the cassia sugar the sugar dissolved so we're going to leave it to simmer for five minutes until the sugar is dissolved Okay, our cake is ready. You can see a toothpick inserted at the center of the cup. The cake comes out clean, so meaning that our cake is ready. It is ready and you see the cake is coming out of the side of the, the pan. So, can our cake is ready to cool down. Leave it to cool. Yay! So, as you can see, our uh, sugar has dissolved in the water. That means our syrup yes. is ready. So next, so next, we are going to make our whipping cream, and I'm going to use this resting regular whip topping. So I'm going to measure one and a quarter cups of whipping whipping cream. Then um, I add a cup of icing sugar, not not caster sugar, guys. Icing sugar times two, and then I'm going to whip it until stiff. After whipping, uh, whipping cream is supposed to look like this, stiff. Yes, like that. And white. Yes. And white. You have to be careful when whipping because if you over whip it will split. Yes. So we are going to separate this whipped cream. You put some of the whipped cream in the piping bag or a piping gun. Yes, and then some will leave it to decorate the cake. So we fill that gun, I'm going to put it in the fridge. And then we're going to put the rest of the whipping cream into the fridge as well. Okay, so next we are going to make a chocolate topping. Chocolate topping? <laughs> yes, actually, yes. Chocolate toppings. <laughs> Your cake is finally cooled down properly, so you insert the knife at the side of the pan. So 
you can just label this the, the top of the cake. So now we are going to separate our cake and divide our cake into three. Next is the syrup. So we are going to start with putting the whipped cream. Then we put the cherries. But I have cut into little small pieces and then finally we'll put some of our dark chocolate. Start with the first layer. There you are, your black forest cake. Um, you put it overnight in the fridge to enhance the flavor, and so we'll cut it tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi all, this is our black forest cake made by my daughter Janita and I. Uh, this is the final one, which has been in the fridge yeah, to develop its flavor overnight. So this is the final cake. Yeah. Please join us in enjoying the cutting of the cake. So. Show them how the layers are. Yay. Show them how the layers are. <laughs> See, these are the layers. Perfect. <laughs> 
Perfecto. Wow. Mm. It's very nice. Very nice. Very calm. Very all the flavors are there and you save a lot of money by making this cake from home yes you do so thank you for be for keeping with us see you next time bye, bye. <laughs> hmm? so.